Happy Friday, guys. It is finally time for the weekend again. I hope you've all had an amazing week so far. I am glad we are at the weekend again. And guys, it is of course time for another Pokemon card opening video. Woo! I am so excited to be opening up the brand new Galarian Rapidash V box today, guys. For those of you that don't know, this is a fairly new Pokemon box which came out a few weeks ago. And every single person I have seen that do an unboxing for this has basically given it five star reviews. I've heard it's one of the best Pokemon V boxes ever made. It has amazing texture to it. And guys, it's Galarian Rapidash. I mean, who doesn't love unicorns? Look at that fluffy unicorn! Don't fluffy! All right, guys, so the main reason that we are opening up the Galarian Rapidash V-Box today is because my sister, shout out to my sister Jess, if you are watching this video, has kindly sent me a mystery parcel. I'm assuming it's Pokemon related. So guys, what we are going to do is open up the Galarian Rapidash box because my sister's favorite creature is, of course, the unicorn. And we are then going to open up the mystery parcel she kindly sent to us. So guys, I am going to epically, dramatically slide this a beautiful box interview so you guys can take a proper look. Alright guys, as you can see in front of us we have the Galarian Rapidash V-Box and it looks absolutely breathtaking. We are going to open this up, I think we have some Battle Styles cards inside so we are going to see what we get and I can see Lucky in the background of my video who is clearly very excited for another Pokemon card opening. All right guys, apparently Lucky wants to be in another one of my Pokemon card opening videos. He's acting like he doesn't and yet he is being an absolute drama queen as always. He has climbed his way to the top of my punch bag over here for what I can only assume is some screen time in my YouTube video. Do you have anything to say to the audience at home, my boy? Lucky. You seem to have caused a commotion to be in my video and now you want nothing to do with it. Okay, bye. Actually guys, before we go ahead and open up the Galarian Rapidash box, it is of course time for Ryan's random Pokemon fact of the day. I mean, did you seriously think I forgot to do the Pokemon fact of the day? If I'm being completely honest, I almost did completely forget about that segment of the video, so I apologize guys. But in today's video, we are of course focused on Galarian Rapidash, so I am going to give you guys a fact about Galarian Rapidash. Although it is a brave and prideful as a Pokemon, it can apparently channel its psychic power into a powerful psycho cut attack from its horn, which can apparently pierce through metal. So although it is extremely cute and fluffy and adorable, I would not want to be in a fight with Galarian Rapidash. So guys, if you didn't know that unicorn fact, now you know. All right, guys, as you can see on screen, we have the Galarian Rapidash V promo card, which comes with the box. And I can honestly say that is the most beautiful promo card I have ever seen. And guys, we also have the Jumbo Galarian Rapidash V card. I'm going to have to zoom my camera out for this card because it is a Jumbo card. And again, it looks absolutely beautiful. Alrighty guys, we have our very first co-card of the day. As I always do, I give out all my co-cards in my videos, so make sure to check out my other videos in case any co-cards have been missed. And guys, we have of course the four booster packs which come with the Galarian Rapidash box. We have a Battle Styles Empoleon artwork, we've got the Battle Styles Tyranitar artwork, we have a Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion pack, and I don't believe we've ever opened up one of those packs on my YouTube channel, so that should be exciting. And we have a Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze pack. Guys, if you love Pokemon cards as much as I do and can't wait to find out what is inside these Pokemon Boost Packs, make sure to smash that like button to let me know. If you are new to the channel, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy the content. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content. I recently done a giveaway after passing 100 subscribers and we will be doing more giveaways in the future. So make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned for more giveaways. All right, guys, we are going to go ahead and start with the Battle Souls and Polion artwork. Can we get some first pack magic? Because we managed to get some in my last video. If you haven't already, make sure to check out last week's Pokemon card opening. We got some first and last pack magic, which was insane. But guys, here we go. 
Taco Cards. All right, guys, very first pack of the day. I am excited to be opening up Pokemon cards again. So we're gonna go Itch, Ni, Sun, Shi. I believe that's one to four in Japanese. Apologies if it's not, because I'm not fluent in any other language. Uh, but guys, I'm gonna go ahead and guess a water energy because it is, of course, an Empoleon pack. And we are not off to the best start for our energy guessing game, but that's okay. We have our energy card here. We have Sword, Wood, and Shilber. Wow, that brings back some memories from my uh, Pokemon Sword gameplay. Those two were very... Um, charismatic characters I suppose you could say uh, we have a bishop we got a gold bat so guys how are you doing let me know down in the comments below as I was saying this week has felt pretty heavy for multiple reasons I'm not sure maybe it's a change of weather I'm usually super happy when the sun's out but it has literally been sun rain sun rain the weather just can't make up its mind as it as it's always been like in the UK to be fair um, we got a Shh, we got sleeping on X. Hey guys, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my Pokemon Snap series where we got some amazing shots of some sleeping onyx. We got a Spearow, we got a, a Sizzly, a Dizzly Peed. I don't know why I keep saying that when we pull that card. Uh, we got a reverse polo yamper, guys, to brighten up our days. That is beautiful. And guys, our very last card of our first pack of the day is a regular rare scent scorch all right not the best start but hopefully our luck will pick up as we go along the pack all right guys next up we have the tyranitar artwork battle stars pack i'm hoping for some battle stars luck here we have not had any good luck i don't think i think we got one amazing pull from my very first ever battle stars video um, but i've heard it's very difficult to get good pulls from this set so we'll see how we do Co card all right guys second pack of the day can we get some second pack luck i don't know if that's a thing but if it is i really need it here we go itch me sun she i'm going to guess a fighting energy here we go Ah, uh, okay, a Psychic Energy, which is ironic because I did not get that guess right. And we're off. We have an EXP Shared Trainer card. We've got a, a Carcoal. We got a, a Dottler, another fun Pokemon name to say, of course. Uh, silly Cobra, he's so silly. Uh, we got a Houndor. We've got a, a Licky a Licky Tongue, uh, Horsey, blowing some bubbles our way, hopefully for good luck. And guys, I believe this is our Reverse Hollow, and it is not our Reverse Hollow. Guys, our Reverse Hollow of our pack is uh, Reverse Hollow Age of Slash. I mean, not the worst Reverse Hollow we could pull. Guys, our final card of our second and final Battle Stars pack of the day is a regular rare. Trumper. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, I'm going to do something a little bit different in this video as we really haven't had any good luck for those first two packs. I am going to find my cat Lucky and I am going to let him pick which of these packs should have some last pack magic. So we are going to go ahead, ask our Lucky Cat who is uh, chilling, chill, chilling on his favorite blanket over there. You got the Bubble Works blanket, my boy. Listen, whichever one of these packs you choose has to have a good card in it, okay? So no pressure or anything. No pressure for me or all the viewers out there. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one one pack there. I'm gonna put one pack there. I, I need to see what direction we're going in, okay? I, I mean I I don't think he's gonna move because he just seems really cozy right now. So we're, we're gonna see what kind of reactions we get here. So we got a darkness of blaze pack here. He's giving it a good sniff. I, I'm not I'm not too sure if he's too set on that one for the uh, last pack magic. Right, here we have a Crimson Invasion pack. Now, we've never opened one of these on the channel before. So this might be the one. This might be the one. I want to see. Look, are we going to get a reaction? If it, yeah. Okay. Right. That was no help at all, but thank you. All right, guys, my cat Lucky was not particularly helpful in that instance, but I felt like he was leaning more towards Crimson Invasion for our last pack. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Darkness Ablaze pack next and hopefully save some last pack magic. Here we go. Cocard. All right, guys, third pack of the day. Itch, Ni, Sun, She. 
And I'm gonna guess a... Two hours later. The electric energy, because why not? Okay guys, we have got zero out of three energy guesses right, so that just about sums up my day. Here we go. Uh, we've got a Flaffy, one of my favorite electric type Pokemon. We have a Carnivine. I'm pretty sure I've been pronouncing that wrong this entire time. I'm pretty sure I say Carvinine. Anyway, we have the Cape of Toughness. I think there's a gold card of that in this set. I might be mistaken, but I've seen a gold version of it somewhere and it looks absolutely incredible. Uh, we've got a baby Darklet, guys. Again, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my Pokemon Snap series. We've got some amazing photos of those little Darklet with their, with their uh, mum swan. Uh, we've got a Mareep. We've got a Paris. Uh, Gofita. We've got a Skarmory, and I believe this is our reverse hollow of the pack. But again, I'm usually wrong when I say that, so here we go. We got a reverse holo Larvita, guys. I don't think we've actually pulled that card before. That is a uh, that is some beautiful artwork. And guys, our last card of our third pack of the day is a holo. At least it's a holo. We got a holo Drake of this. I'm not gonna lie, I have never seen that Pokemon in my life, but at least we're getting somewhere with the last cards, right? Alrighty guys, it all comes down to the final pack, the Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion, which my cat Lucky picked out for us, so if we don't get any good cards in this pack, you can blame my cat. Alright guys, your final code card of the day, use it wisely, here we go. Each me, sun, she, wait a minute. All right, guys, I actually managed to figure out the card tricks, and now we just have to hopefully get the energy guess right. I'm gonna go with a fire energy because it is, of course, the last pack of the day. And we have got no energy guesses right today, guys, so that is not a great start. Here we go. We got a fairy energy, which hasn't actually been in any of the newer packs, so that's actually something nice to see. And guys, it is, of course, a unicorn box opening, so that is the perfect energy to end on. We have a Gladion trainer card. Very cool. Uh, this is definitely the first time I've opened up Crimson Invasion, I'm pretty sure, because I do not recognize any of these cards, and they're very cool. Uh, we have a Laron. We got an Alolan Graveler. Guys, look at the artwork on that. That is so cool. Okay, we have a Starly. We have a Skiddo. Uh, Weedle. Okay, these are... Uh, I mean, the cards are just getting worse as we go along, guys. Uh, we got an Alolan Geodude. Are, are we going to pull an Alolan Golem in the same pack? I mean, we've got two out of three now. We've got an Aron. I think this is our Reverse Hollow, And it is... A reverse holo call fish. That's pretty interesting. All right, guys. Our final card of the Galarian Rapidash V box is no. God, please no, no, no. All right, guys. It is time for Ryan's recap of the day. There shall be no recap because the cards we pulled from the Pokemon packs today were just that bad. Alrighty guys, although we didn't get any good cards from the packets today, we do still have the mystery parcel to open, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up now. We're going to see what's inside. Again, a big, big thank you to my sister for sending this over to me. Alright guys, we have a, a blank envelope. I'm going to open this as carefully as I can. And guys, inside the mystery parcel is, I need to find a genre effect for this. And guys, we have a free Voltorb cards here. I believe they're all from different sets and that is absolutely awesome. So a big, big thank you to my sister for sending those. That is a shockingly good mystery parcel. All right guys, before we end today's video, I would also like to give a shout out to my other family members. Firstly, to my mum who made me the most amazing Pokeball cushion for my last birthday, which I haven't shown on camera. I probably should have by now. But guys, here it is, the amazing Pokeball cushion. My mum literally sewed 
uh, herself like she made this entire cushion and it is absolutely beautiful she also has an Etsy shop where she makes and sews her own products and sells on there so I will put that link in the description down below make sure to check it out and also a big shout out to my dad as well who literally tweets out every single a brand new a video I create and is always helping uh, support like the marketing of the channel and everything like that um, so a big thank you to my sister for the mystery parcel to my mum for the pokeball cushion and to my dad for all the support on the channel as well and guys speaking of family I would also like to give a big shout out to a little person we have a brand new niece in the family Kyra if you're watching this a big shout out to you uh, I know she loves watching uh, my Pokemon snap videos um, and the card videos as well of course uh, Kaylee's sister uh, and her boyfriend just had a baby um, they named her Kyra which is a beautiful name um, and she is adorable um, she, I mean she has some hilarious facial expressions honestly she is so lovely um, and I wanted to basically um, say that this unicorn tin right here I am going to keep aside until Kyra is older um, and hopefully like give this to her as her very first ever Pokemon cards obviously going with like the unicorn theme on the video and everything um, so instead of opening these up on camera I'd rather save them um, and have them you know be Kyra's first Pokemon cards if she wants them alrighty guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you have an amazing weekend and I will see you again next week Thank you.